Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and welcome to your love read. This will be for the, we're going to do this for the uh, first half of July, 2023. All right, so we'll start with you. It's going to be a different spread than my weekly spreads. Uh, my weeklies are all done to date, so do check those out. And let's go ahead, uh, at least for the signs that I'm, I'm actually focusing in on right now. Uh, so let's take a look at what's happening for you here, okay? What do we have? This is going to be on your side. All right, and uh, what do we have? Oh, haha, nice. Okay, gotcha. And then um, for the other person's side, we're going to have over here. And then we're going to talk about the connection in itself. Uh, so we'll find out a little bit more in detail in the connection itself. One, two, give me two more. Uh, what do we have? One and two okay bottom of the deck nice guys wheel of fortune is taking place here so there's an opportunity to pivot this is an opportunity to change directions on whatever it is that you might be doing now this could uh you know it's interesting we've got a full moon that's happening on july 3rd in capricorn and that talks about well for you it moves through your second house of your income it also has to do with your resources and your material possessions so this is uh this is um, this is asking you, are you holding too tight when it comes to money? Are you holding on things too tight? Are you fear that, uh, you know, is fear getting in the way of you really enjoying life? Because this is about a big transition and a move and a change of direction. So you could be receiving a promotion. You could be receiving some sort of raise or new job opportunity, okay? So just focus in on, on, on spending your money on things that you um, want and send a lot of grace and gratitude to the universe for all the resources that you do have. Uh, and uh, this is also um, focusing in on just having an abundance mindset, focusing in on that and invite a lot of abundance into your life, okay? Um, yeah, this is this is key, but whatever the case may come, this is about something's changing directions. You know what's really cool too is that uh, you're no longer feeling left out. You're, you're no longer feeling left out of a situation. Everything is shifting. Just like I said, money, if you feel impoverished in any sort of way, it's upside down. It's shifting and you're changing direction with help of the universe here. I love this. I think that your mind could have been deceiving you in some sort of way or, you know, maybe causing conflict, but the universe is going to help you out. And for, for whatever reason, it's showing up in your love reads. So it might have to do with love. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it, it could be about that. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's could be your, your relationship with money and, uh, um, you know, something of the sort, but, uh, in any effect, um, this is what I'm getting coming through that your mind may have been deceiving you in some sort of way in terms of that. Um, now, um, anything else that wants to shine through in your underlying energy? Yeah, this is focusing on not what doesn't work, but what can work. And that this is the key. Now, in a relationship, this it does you know focus in on what doesn't work and then focusing in on what can work. This is just saying learn the lessons of the past and then be able to take that wisdom with you. Now, I'm going to pull Spirit's advice for you on this, all right? Because this could be changing directions in a relationship or a situation and no longer feeling left out in some sort of way. Um, you have stepped and, and you have acknowledged uh, the wisdom that you've gleaned from this. And now you can use your two cups wisely. Spirit's advice in this for your underlying energy is what? Oh my gosh, you got the dragon. There's another sign that got this as well, guys. So do check that out. This is really beautiful because this is an eye-opening experience. Uh, this is an opportunity. Um, this is a um, an opportunity to really move forward and this is about seeing everything like like this is about this is fire energy too so I feel that there's an opportunity um, yeah there's some sort of opportunity for you here it, it's an opportunity to see things and now clearly that you maybe didn't see before is what I get some sort of eye-opening experience I think you've been through something and now you realize that you know um, you know the, the wisdom from something or whatever that is so this is being true to yourself and what you want being true to your emotions um, you know, really being true to yourself and balancing out the ego, okay? Um, and when we look into the mirror deep into your eyes, we may even see a glimpse uh, of yourself behind the self sometimes, uh, you know? And, and the power of the dragon breathes in transformation in every cell of our body. So I feel that this is an opportunity for major transition and, and the universe is helping you out with the Wheel of Fortune. This is luck. This is opportunity. And so this following up in your, your love read, this is going to be nice. How you view yourself right now, what we get is uh, there's maybe some sort of conflict that is happening and taking place. Some sort of conflict. 
as it re, you know in regards to intimacy in some sort of way i get fire energy and then cancer scorpio pisces there's some sort of conflict in intimacy that is keeping something i don't know if someone is is a conflict of of overflowing emotions that are happening here and then what else what else and this is someone um needs this is about putting in the work you could be going to school. You could be um, focusing in on... There's conflict where someone's not putting in the work in terms of a connection. Uh, how you view yourself is maybe there's a conflict that you're having with intimacy. For some of you, this is the case. Now, only you know what this is, and it's for, for some of you coming out. But this is putting in the work to say, what the hell is this? Like, why am I... Uh, why am I why am I feeling like this here? Okay, Let, let's go into uh, pull a few cards and see what else uh, wants to shine through. What else do we get in terms of this? How you view yourself? This is about getting connected to Gaia. This wants you to come, especially in times of obstacles. It wants you to get out into. It wants you to get out into nature, guys. You're you're being asked to to get the pulse and to uh, tap into the earth energy of Gaia. And um, to gain your power, to gain your power of serenity over the situation. So whatever situation that you're going through, you're being asked to move into uh, that type of uh, that area in order to get some sort of assistance uh, so you can uh, get guided here. Anything else on how you view yourself? What do we get coming through here? You are heartbroken. Wow. Maybe that you were, you were heartbroken because of some sort of separation. Or where this is, is this still stemming uh, right from here and you're transitioning to the Two of Cups to be able to use that wisely? Some of you could be at that stage at this moment. And for those of you that are there at this moment, uh, any advice that comes through on that? What do we get? It's part of your soul's journey. It's a soul journey, guys. It's a nine card, so this tells me it's part of your soul's meaning. It's a part of higher education. It's a, it's a, it's asking you to get do do more research on this to get more in, into asking yourself why you might be feeling this way. But oh, I will tell you that it's a nine card, so it's coming to fruition, which is quite beautiful. Uh, any other uh, feedback that's coming through that would be important on how you feel about yourself? This is about acceptance of love. Some of you guys, I'm getting. This is about accepting love. This is a fear of expen. You know. Um, this is a, it's okay to accept love. Um, it's a 38 card that reduces to an 11. This could indicate a twin flame connection, but this is now being able to accept love guys. So being able to accept love now, this is how you feel that you're going through a heartbroken, but you're opening up and being able to accept love. How you feel about your other person, your other person that's coming through here, you feel about them. This is the ace of uh, rods. This is, um, you know, new inspiration and creation. It could be that they want, uh, someone wants to move forward. I get fire energy. They've got new inspiration and creation. How you feel, uh, this is about um, how you feel about them. Uh, let's take a look. Anything else? Ah, maybe that you're getting some sort of, maybe you feel that, I feel that uh, you've got some sort of clarity and new inspiration that's coming through here about this other person. Uh, maybe you feel that they got clarity and or, or they've got new inspiration. Let me take a look. What else? This is a keen sense of perception to be able to move forward. This is now seeing things truly. This is seeing things now and clear, being clear in love and having a better perception in terms of love. Could be doing with a, a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or fire energy coming through. And interesting, guys. Uh, what else do we get? completion a sense of some sort of completion you view the other person have a, uh, having a successful completion in some sort of way uh, give me more on how you view the other person that might be coming through what do we get maybe there's been some drama in the past but there is an opportunity with this clarity to set up some good times and get togethers uh, so how you view the other person is maybe they're celebrating um, after maybe not listening, um, you know, but they're giving up control of the situation. They're giving up control of the situation to be able to move forward. Okay. Interesting that that's coming out. How you view the other person, anything else on how you view the other person? Let's just take a look. How do you view them? Um, I got to pull some other ones out. I'm not getting what I want here. Let's just get a little bit more detail. They could be traveling or at a distance from you. And they're taking it moment by moment, careful steps. 
and um, they are, you maybe feel that this person uh, maybe had uh, issues and maybe had been clinging to the past is what I get. So uh, anything more that's coming through about this other person, how you feel about, um, how you feel about your other person, uh, what do you get? That they have choices, that they have options, uh, that they are, that they are present, they're, 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 they have choices and they're not making a choice, uh, a, a decision quite yet. Um, and maybe there's been some trickery and dishonesty in the situation. I think there's going to be a confession of feelings here. Someone's going to confess feelings, but I think that there was a, you know, you know, issues in a situation or in a relationship or a connection with the person you have in mind. When you click on this video, it could be because there was some sort of deception, um, that was causing trust issues in here. But now there is clarity coming out from that. Someone's going to confess something. I think someone might confess a deception. I don't know. This is what I get. Uh, and uh, maybe they already did for some of you. And then you're, you're contemplating on this. But this is about like seeing your true self and, and what you really want. And how you want to move forward and change directions. Okay. Now, how you view the connection is there's been enlightenment. All right. The uh, hangman is in reverse and it's telling me that you've been enlightened, okay, in some sort of way. So what else do I get? Tell me more. Yeah, you've been enlightened for a rebirth. This connection has been enlightened for some sort of rebirth. Libra energy is coming through. Um, but I'm also getting an, an opportunity for communication of some sort of enlightenment. Th this is why we got clarity here. Uh, so there's going to be probably a discussion about that. But give me a little bit more on how you view the connection uh, overall. Choices, yeah, getting rid of the illusion, having lots of choices, but not all of them are good. So this is about looking at the situation and having faith of making the right choice. Any uh, advice, uh, anything that wants to come through, I should say for you, in terms of how you view the connection, how you view the relationship. It looks like there's going to be some spiritual work that you feel and some deep thinking and take time to reflect and consider all options and consequences of, this, of the connection, all right? Of, of maybe if there's a rebirth, you're thinking about what that looks like and, um, and, and you are just look, considering all your options before you move forward. But there is some work that needs to be done on a spiritual and soul level, whether that is with you or the other person. But you, you are looking at that in some sort of way is what the cards are telling me. And I do get that there could be, there's unexpected uh, or unforeseen events cause disturbances in a partnership. Um, so I do get that coming through as well. All right. Uh, anything else about the, how you view the relationship? Getting rid of, get, taking control. Someone took control of someone's innocence is what I get. Interesting. And 11 is coming out again. And I get, you know, this is about having patience and faith. Uh, and because there's a, this is an intense connection. Wow, very intense connection coming through here. Interesting, guys. Very interesting. I'm going to pull some other another card here, just um, for the heck of it. Um, how do you view the connection? Uh, I'm, oh, no wonder I'm getting a lot of different energies coming through here. There's addictions that are affecting the romantic situation, okay? And for some of you, the card that came out was codependency. Now, it... I'm not labeling you that. It's just about looking into that. That could be something that's coming in and playing a role. So that's something to think about. How this pews, this other person views themselves, they're heartbroken. Dang. They're heartbroken over a situation. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And about something, about some sort of loss in their life. But it's a 10 knowing that it's over and done with. Okay. Uh, again, air energy. And maybe because someone walked away, someone decided to not put emotions into this connection any longer. This could be you or another, or maybe they walked away, but I get walking away, um, they're heartbroken, and someone escaped the situation. This could be you or the other person. Um, and I get Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. So this is a queen of pentacles, someone who's very resourceful. You could That could be you taking on you know, having that energy, or this could be them. Um, maybe that maybe someone Taurus Capricorn Virgo walked away um, and uh, you know and that could be this other person as well um, interesting give me a little bit more in terms of uh, how this uh, person views themselves they've got some sort of fear 
they've got they got something's delaying this connection to move forward because there's fear in, in wanting to progress forward. So I don't know if you're dealing with the Capricorn. There's some sort of fear uh, in, in progressing forward or perhaps an air sign. Okay, is what I get. And they're just they're they're looking at the situation. They're looking at their world and their patterns. And you know, and that's what's causing some sort of fear. And what else? It has to do with family. Patterns of the family have to do with that. Ooh, this is really an interesting read. Wow. Um, how does this person view you? They view you as a, it could be a past life connection or they're, they're rem reminiscing sweet memories or they are focusing in on some sort of growth, okay? Um, there could have been a marriage before, guys, as well. I'm just saying for some of you. Um, but how this person views you, um, getting support and help from others with the Three of Cups, okay? And they view, they view you as making a choice, okay? Again, could be done with the Gemini, you get the Lover's card. So, you know, and this, this could indicate, you know, a new opportunity, guys. So I don't know. This is what I'm getting. I think that there's an opportunity here. Um, this is about a balanced, there's an opera, they view you as a balanced, loving relationship and a supportive partner. This is about making choices in love. They feel that you could make the choice in love here in some sort of way. Wow. It could be about, you know, if you're not in a connection, this could be a partnership, a union of some sort. And this is, uh, the trust and unity that lovers, uh, you know, that, that have, that give the confidence and strength to empower each other to be able to move forward. Okay. Hmm. This is about, they feel that you're making up your mind up of what's important and what's not important. And you're being true to yourself, which brings us back to the dragon, which is you being true to yourself. That's be true to thyself here. Interesting. Um, and with that being fire energy, even more, but let's take a look at anything more on how they view you, um, anything more on how they view the, uh, uh, you in this situation. What do we get? You, they see you as being very strong and stable within the situation. All right. Uh, strong and stable. Uh, anything more? What do we get? Well, they view you as making some sort of apology or wanting, or, or wanting to make amends with you in some sort of way. Ooh, you know, that came up in confession and deception. So this is about making amends, having an apology. And then what else do I get? Having the courage to make amends. This person is trying to summon up the courage to make that bold move, to be able to move forward. How do they view the relationship? Yeah, this is uh, being true to thyself. They could be getting advice from someone. This could be a spiritual leader. Uh, some, this could be them being, um, you know, uh, being, you know, finding peace within their life, you know, during the obstacles and getting help and advice in terms of that, uh, you know, to get the strength that they need, but they feel that they want to bring peace to the connection. Maybe there needs to be a mediator of some sort. Okay. What else? Yeah. For some sort of rebirth star energy, you could be in the spotlight or, or they could, but this is about a renewal and, and a rebirth. All right, so to balance things out in the situation, two major arcanas on how they view the connection. They have a lot of faith. This is about having the faith that something can be renewed after some sort of conflict. Yep, after some sort of conflict that caused a challenge. And this is them breaking free out of that. I like this because it's a nine card. Someone's learned their lesson. Someone's learned a lesson here of deceit, okay? Someone has learned a lesson. What else do we get? Yeah, someone's been transformed. Scorpionic energy. Uh, this is the uh, death card. Okay, how interesting. And and look at the bottom of the deck, the full card, a new beginning. So this is how they view the connection. Now, what's really brings strength to the connection is being able to persevere. Both sides wanting to persevere. Okay. Now, um, and and what I'm getting here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Wow. I, I'm a Sagittarius. This is amazing. <laughs> you know, your strength in the connection is that both parties are really wanting to persevere and to move forward. All right. Now, what, what needs to happen is there needs to be some communication. Okay. There needs to be a message coming through. Now I get Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo for this. So this could be on either side, but I feel that it's the person that needs to speak up has got earth in their, in their chart. But this is a message. Persevere. What needs to happen is messages and conversation needs to take place. Okay. This is what I'm getting that's coming through here with the Page of Pentacles. Okay. 
So um, that's going to be really, really key, okay? Um, another thing that needs to, to uh, focus in on is, is, is kind of like the, the, uh, um, uh, where the relationship is headed. It's about sharing emotions. So it's about an opportunity to share emotions on both sides with the Ten of Cups. Look at this, Sag. This is beautiful. There's going to be coming a time where two people are going to come together and express this. You guys, this was so succinct here. I am so excited for you here. This is beautiful. Um, now, we, we will want to find out on um, what is, let's just find out, um, because you've got two of cups and this is an expression of emotion. So the two people coming together and expression, each expression their own emotions. There's a partnership and attraction that is still viable here. And then I do get, uh, you know, it, I feel that it's advancing in terms of coming together. Um, but I'm going to find out what are going to be their next steps within the first half of the month. Um, what they want most, what they haven't told you, and uh, what the timing around those next steps might be. I do want to find out what's really going to help bring this forward even more in what, you know, and, and, and spirit's advice for that and um, and what to watch out for, okay? Um, I do want to find out what you haven't told them, what you want most, and then what you hope the next steps to be. We'll do messages from both sides, a potential outcome with Oracle advice. So I'm going to take it deeper, but beautiful Sagittarius. I'm so excited for you. This looks like a culmination of some of people coming together. And um, if you want to take a deep dive into further and get some further insight, uh, click the link in the description box below, guys. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.